For my keto banana bread, I have measured half a cup of almond flour and half a cup of coconut flour. And to that mixture, I am adding a quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of baking powder. I have also added half a cup of stevia. Now I'm going to whisk it together before I add my wet ingredients. In a separate bowl, I put three eggs, one third cup of coconut milk. You can use almond. I put one teaspoon full of vanilla extract. I put half a cup of butter, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, and I mashed up one banana. I know that banana is not keto, but I don't think one banana will make that much of a difference because in regular banana bread you put about four bananas. The recipe calls for banana extract but I don't have banana extract so I'm using one banana. I'm going to mix up my wet ingredients and add it to my dry ingredients. I have added my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. I'm going to mix this batter until everything is well incorporated and then I'm going to put it in my greased loaf pan and bake at 350 degrees for one hour. I have put the batter in my greased loaf pan. Now I'm going to top with some pecans. You can also top with walnuts or any nuts of good choice. Now I'm going to bake for one hour in my preheated oven at 350 degrees. The keto banana bread has just come out of the oven. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put this toothpick and the toothpick comes out clean so it's ready. So I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes before I take it out of the loaf pan. I can't wait to see what it tastes like. And I have cut a piece to taste. It tastes pretty good. Oh my god, it tastes just like banana bread. And that's it, you guys. I hope to see you in my next video.